the diagnostic test. The diagnostic test concept it is also very important, especially for the question purpose. It's very important because it's easy to make the question on that, and it's easy to solve also, and it's easy also to uh, 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 make an error on that. Okay, so that's why this this also become very important topic for the especially exam purpose. So the diagnostic test concept is basically come like. You develop a vaccine, let like, okay, and it's not like you are interested to see how effective that vaccine is. You develop a test to see, means uh, you develop a test that you are able to identify the correct or incorrect diagnostic, okay, like it's positive or not. Okay, so for that purpose, you, you cannot directly use like chi squat test or T test or something. Huh? Because, like, you say my test, whatever the test says, this is COVID positive, this is COVID negative. So, we what information we have through my test, we are saying you are positive, you are negative. Okay, this is the information. How we will run chi square test or T test so that we are able to understand that my test is good or not? Okay, it's not some effect, effect, efficacy of the test we are saying, effectiveness of the test we are saying. How the diagnostic performance of the test, I'm interested on that. So what do you mean by that diagnostic performance of my test? So it's similar pattern like the testing of hypothesis uh, means how Type 1 error, what is type 2 error? Okay. So the diagnostic performance of my test means if I am saying through my test, you are positive. Okay. You are really positive, then my test is good. If I am saying you are negative, and if you are really negative, then also my test is good. Okay. So in both the scenario, I am correct. My test is good and if you are positive and i am saying you are negative wrong you are negative i am saying you are positive then again i am okay so that the performance of the test is depend on two things how much i am able to correctly identify the correct result okay means you are positive and i am saying you are positive how i am correctly identified the negative if you are really negative. Okay, both are my power. Both are the test uh, power of the test. So both are important. And in diagnostic test, we will say this. See, sensitivity is specific. We will learn. Very easy concept. Very easy. Sensitivity means. See, and uh, the important thing, if I am saying like you are really positive or you are really negative, it means that there must be some gold standard. Okay. Without gold standard, you cannot compare. So, there is some gold standard test. I develop a new test and we want to see that how my test is good as compared to the true value and that true value is defined from the gold standard. So, if gold standard will say you are positive, I am saying you are positive. Okay. Now, my test is good. If gold standard will say you are negative, I am saying you are negative. Okay, my test is good. Okay, so the same thing. So whenever you find any problem related to this, you first start making a two by two table. If you are able to make the two by two table, you will easily solve that problem. Okay, this is your two by two table. Result from the gold standard, they will give you all the information or they will give you as much information so that you are make this two table. 2 by 2 table complete okay so gold standard will say this the first one is basically the tp true positive okay false positive means basically they are positive by the test but your test says it's negative okay false negative that's why it's false negative it's not the true negative false positive Basically, it is negative because the gold standard will say the disease absent, but your test says it's positive. So that's why I mentioned it's false negative and true negative. So 
it is basically F disease absent and your test also says it's negative. So that's why it's true negative. And true positive and true negative is your power. Okay. If you are correctly identify that, it means your test is good. If not, then it either is false negative or false positive. You can make it's a table like A, B, C, D also. Okay. And to make this table, this two by two table, let they will say the total test positive, test positive. Okay, your test positive. This value is this much and true positive is this much. So you can easily calculate this. Okay, because this is basically the sum of these two. Or they will say the gold standard positive is this much and the test negative is this much. So you can subtract and make this table. So whenever there is any diagnostic question, uh, uh, question on your exam, you just took a pen and draw it, okay, two by two table and fill all this cell. If you are able to fill this cell, then it's very easy to calculate any parameter. And what we want to calculate? Sensitivity and specificity. So what is sensitivity? Sensitivity means basically how much you are able to identify the positive out of the final gold standard positive. And what is the gold standard positive? This is your gold standard positive, the total. Out of that, how much you collect say positive, true positive. So TP divided by TP plus FN. Okay, it's just notification. You can change the notification by A, B, C, D, whatever you want, okay. But the important thing is what? The one row is gold standard positive, gold standard negative. Test positive, test negative. So out of the total positive means the real positive, gold standard says you are positive. How much you said you are, it's positive. Out of that positive, okay. So test positive divided by the total gold positive. That is your sensitivity because that is your power, okay. And if you correctly identify the negative, that is also your power, na? Because that is also equally important. So that gold standard says total how much negative out of them. You also said that is negative. That is your specificity. So what is sensitivity? Sensitivity means this value, whatever you want to noti uh, notify, it's up to you. Okay. This value divided by the gold positive. What is specificity? This value divided by the gold negative. Clear? This is your sensitivity. So your test saying positive out of the gold positive, true positive, right? And specifically your test saying negative out of the true negative. Okay, means total gold standard negative, true negative, right? And there is two more concept also positive predictive value, negative predictive value. Positive predictive value means your test saying positive out of the total positive by your test. Okay, like this one. Your test saying positive means true positive out of the total test positive by your test. Okay. Means true positive divided by the total positive by your test, not by the gold standard. If it is by the gold standard, it's sensitivity. If it is by the your test, it's positive predictive value. Same way, you true negative by your test divided by the total negative by your test. That is negative predictive value. Okay. So the sensitivity and specificity is more important and it's very easy also. Uh, it means it's not any big mathematics on here. Okay. So if gold standard will say total this much is positive, out of them, how many you are also identify that this is positive. Okay. So that is your power. Same way, if the gold standard say you are negative, out of that negative, how many you are able to identify that is negative, that is specificity. Okay.